So, our latest, our next discussion here, we're going to be talking about uh, Friends Forever issue 26. So, bear with me a quick second here, because I literally had, did not have any time to get our scene set up for this. So, yeah, this is exactly what I have set up for this right now. Okay. Yep. And, uh, I guess while you go start this, I'll, I'll see you guys in a bit. But yeah, we're just going to talk a little bit about the comic as well as maybe voice a few lines and then just kind of give our thoughts and opinions of it. Nothing too big, nothing too small. Yeah, I'm trying not to go too overboard like I've done with previous comics. Uh, mostly also due to the fact that we do have other guests here and I need to... Yeah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Anyway. So let's see. Um... And now I gotta deal with the horror that is whatever this this new um, uh, Adobe. Adobe sucks. It sucks Adobe a lot. Adobe what? Adobe DC. Adobe DC. Okay. I have so many questions. Exactly. It's just basically their attempt at trying to... Hmm. Okay, I, th I think I got this as well as I'm ever going to get it. So, let's just go with it here. Oh, Document Cloud. Their, their version of Document Clouding and all this stupid stuff. Ooh, Document Clouding. Wait a minute, what am I smoking here? Oh, really? I can't do that either? How about this? Ooh, that works. Okay, that'll get rid of a good chunk of the crap. So, yeah, uh, bear, bear with me a quick moment here. Unfortunately, yeah, screen capture. The, on the only PDF reader I have is Chrome. And you should be very happy and stick with it. Okay. And I think I might need to change up a... a long time to render between pages on my Chrome here. I don't understand why is it... Eh. it shouldn't take this long. This is also the reason why I downloaded <clears throat> Reader. Actually, there was a different uh, browser that I heard about, and I really need to try try it out again here. But... Ooh, yeah, this is another awesome reason why I upgraded to this, because now we could show the comic in full force! Or we would... Um, if we would I think if... I have to go out for, for a while. Oh. Okay. I need to give allowance to my sister. Oh, okay, man. Yeah, so, so we'll see you when you get back. Deposit to the bank. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's we'll see you when you get back. So, uh... Okay. So that'll be Radio Gun Dead going here, going for a moment, and I'm... I'm starting to regret a lot of decisions I made um, regarding the uh, streaming software here now. Needs to say part of the why it's taking so long. I am to blame because I figured. Okay, I'll, I'll be blunt. I stored a lot of the Brony Show files onto an external G drive, and right now that's what the streaming software is trying to is trying to access them from. <coughs> bad move. Very bad move. So yeah, we'll try. Um, hopefully the chat room. Can, hopefully the chat room can be seen there. And if not, yeah. Somewhat seen. All right, and also real fast. Just eh, crap. Need something quick. Think this. We'll grab this. Quick a distraction. <laughs> quick, do a barrel roll. All right, there we go. We'll go with this. That'll work. Okay. So, issue 26 of My Little Pony Friends Forever, starring Prince Blue Blood and Shining Armor. Heaven help us all. If I need to zoom this out, I will, but for now, we're going to go ahead and try sticking with this. And also, technically, this digital copy is not um, a, a legitimate digital copy. I do have a physical copy of the book, and I do encourage people please buy a physical copy. The comics are awesome. They deserve at least a few of your dollars. They're not that expensive. And it's cool to hold it in your hand. 
So we're going to go ahead and uh, just start. I'm going to go read some of the lines here. If any of you guys want to join in with me, just let me know who, what, and where. Otherwise, I'll just go with it and we'll just talk about the comic as it goes. If I can get it to scroll faster, I will join in. Mm. Anybody you want to join in with? I have no... I don't really care. Wait, so. what's going on? Uh, we're just going to talk. We're going to read the lines of the comic and talk about it. But you don't have to join in if you don't want to. I'm, I'm oh, pretty much. Oh, is it like a dramatic reading or? Uh, just for giggles, yeah. A little bit dramatic reading, a little bit not so much because we weren't <clears throat> really planning too much to read it. Uh, it's hard to describe. I have, but... To be honest, I haven't kept up with the comics since like. The first year they came out. Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about this. There are little side stories that are kept solely to themselves. I have absolutely nothing to do with any of the other comics. Mm. But, yeah, like I said, it, um, you know, I'm inviting anybody in the uh, panel to join in if they want. If they don't, I got enough voices <laughs> that I can probably scare away most of our audience here. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, uh, TMC, you said you wanted to join in. Are you? Is that scrolling for you yet? Hold on, I'm trying to get it on the other computer where I actually do have a uh, mm -hmm. PDF reader. Okay. So it looks like we're starting off with Twilight Sparkle and Shining Armor, so I'll go ahead and just... <clears throat> okay. Okay, here's an important bit for diplomats to know. Hit it with me, sis. When entering the Great Hall of the Yaks, it is tradition to stomp both feet and loudly declare your name and tribe. And of course we see Twilight giving her advice and looking a little too excited that it's coming from a book. Seriously, that face just screams, um, I'm, I'm enjoying myself way too much here. Of course... <laughs> So I walk in and say, I'm Shining Armor of the tribe of... What should I say for for the tribe, Wally? Well, Yag's tribes are generally named after male ancestor. So I guess I could use Dad's name. I am Shining Armor of the tribe of Nightlight. And thus we find out that um, apparently uh, Twilight's dad is actually named Nightlight. Who here was a little disappointed by that? His dad, wait, her dad's name's Nightlight? Yes. That is a dumb name. I know, you, you got, um, you got Twilight Sparkle, you got, um, um, Shining Armor, you got freaking, uh, jeez, what's, uh, Twilight Velvet, and then you got Nightlight. Nightlight, Nightlight, came and came up with that name because we ran out of eyes. Blah! See, you can't, you can't even make a good joke with that. Heck, you could you could have just called it light bright for a light. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah. Uh, you got to go in there, CMC. I think so. All right. Yeah. So well, let's continue on the page. Here. Sounds good to me. Thanks for taking the time to go over all this with me, Twilly. This is a big deal for me. No problem, big brother. I think you're ruining for nothing, though. Why? You're a born diplomat! How do you figure? Well, when you're in high school, every pony loved you! Please see the previous issues where you got bullied. You were every pony's friend, and you were the best at everything! Of course, a, her, a younger sister is definitely going to have the correct view of this and not be completely biased in any way. You remember it a lot different than I do. So, yep. Of course, we still got the imagery going on. Nothing too comical or weird going on in the background. Just little crazy eyes and um, the plot and giving up the plot here. So, to spare my voice here, of course, uh, Twilight has mentions that they're going. Cadence is going to be coming along with them, which Shining Armor is definitely grateful for because he obviously lacks the courage to be a born diplomat. So, of course, uh, Twilight's just saying, you just uh, go ahead and follow behind Cadence, get behind her, do what she does. I mean, worst case scenario, she could either make them love her or blast into smithereens. So, either case, he's covered. 
And okay, so it looks now they're going into why in the world they they have to go to Yak Yakistan of all places, especially after they left. There's no Yak Hey. There's no Yak Hey. <laughs> yes. But yes, they actually go into the reasons why they got to go to Yak Yakistan, even though after the episode things were left on fairly good terms. What are you supposed to be doing there anyway? I thought we'd have things with the Yaks on pretty good terms. That's what I. That's the thing. Wait, you sound like the hand witch from uh, Gravity Falls. Works for me. <laughs> I, I'm just going with something here. <laughs> that we did. Now the Yaks are interested in setting up a trade agreement with the Crystal Empire. A trade agreement? Yes. Apparently, they really like the Crystal Core. They want to start trading it for some of their crops. I don't know anything about trade. Well. So, yep, they are apparently trying to set up trade agreements. How political. So, yeah, of course, they're re reassuring you have cadence. Nothing could possibly go wrong as you have the pink alicorn of love or destruction. And then suddenly, of course, the, um, the two princesses have to come in and ruin everything as they normally do. Princess Celestia! Princess Luna! Did you come all the way to see the mob? And... Anyway, getting back into the CMC, uh, are you able to follow us now? I'm afraid not. I came here for you and Cadence. There's urgent business that requires attention of all four princesses. I wish it were not so, but things may become dire quickly. And I'm guessing CMC is following us then. Yep. So, yep, unfortunately, bad, bad news comes to um, Shining Armor and... Well, basically, shining armor because Twilight really does has doesn't have to follow along. My cadence is supposed to be going with my brother to save the axe. If cadence is needed in counter lot, then we'll have to put it off. I'm afraid that's not an option. The axe would take that as a great insult. Oh, for crying out loud! The axe take everything as an insult. You can actually <laughs> sneeze for by accident, and they'll take it as an insult. I saw them take a freaking flea jumping in the wrong direction as an insult. Oh. Okay. So, unfortunately, Cadence does have to say goodbye. I'm afraid you're gonna have to make this trip without me, darling. Well, this is my first time going anywhere as ambassador. I don't know anything about trade. Actually, Celestia thought about that. She gave you some Pokemon cards. You're gonna have to <laughs> learn to trade them first. Start with the young foals in the city. Just remember, Charizard is the most expensive, so don't give that up for anything. Keep it close to your chest. <laughs> so, no, Cel Celestia did think of it, and uh, I'm sure she's more than happy to say. I have every confidence in your shining armor, but if you are yourself and do what comes naturally, you'll do wonderfully. But, but... But I know that you are nervous, so I'm sending you with someone with much more experience. Shining armor, allow me to introduce Prince Blueblood. And this is when we officially drop the book, burn it, and run like hell. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, this is probably the only time we've seen Prince Blue Blood in the last four years, comic or show. So yeah, like, it is kind of funny just seeing him just pop up out of nowhere like this. But it, it, at the same time, it is nice that they actually brought him back it to some extent. So yes, we got Prince Blue Blood and Shining Armor now getting ready to team up. Shining armor, it's so great to meet another prince. The, mm, hold on. <clears throat> there are so few of us these days, you know. And now I can, I've completely mixed up the Shining Armor's voice. Okay. Do you want me to take the blood? <laughs> yeah, go for it. I can't do it. If I keep going nasally, I'm going to lose it all. No, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna have Arn uh, Shining Arnold now. I'm got Shining Arnold. There we go. Moving on. So yes, Prince Blue Blood comes, make his grand entrance, and trying to look all suave as always. This is a really gorgeous castle you have here. I've heard such great things about it, but hadn't made it out here because train travel, you know, it just doesn't agree with me, and it's so crowded and common, you know. Well, we got a chopper coming next week. 
for a castle, there sure aren't a lot of servants here. I have some bags. Wait, here's one now. Oh, hold on just a moment. Stay right there. How help helpful is this? Servants who are also mirrors. Amazing! <laughs> uh, I think that servant could probably kick your ass if he really wanted to. I wouldn't stop him either. You know, they told me how soft-spoken you were, but I think it's just that you're on... Ah. Words, <laughs> Words, not but working. I, but I think it's just that you only talk when you have something really brilliant to say. I often wish I was more like that, you know, but I can't just can't contain myself. Wait, is that the throne? No, it's my personal throne. It's my throne. Go away. I need to do number two. And I got a new episode of Jughead. I really <laughs> love that comic. Okay, so Shining Armor obviously is expressing his doubts, as we all are, because for crying out loud, it's Prince Blue Blood. Your Majesty, I don't want to crazy criticize your choices. Your Majesty, you're stupid. What is this? <laughs> Shining Armor, please feel free to say what you're thinking. You don't have to explain yourself. I just did! This is stupid! Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Oh crap. <laughs> I'm lost. Where am I? There you go. Ah. Uh, uh, don't, don't you think it's a terrible choice? I mean, I know you have an emergency with the yags and the happy delay, but, but this! This is a really nice throne, Celestia. You, you really need one of these. Your throne is nowhere near as nice as this. I know he seems shallow, but there's more to Blue Blood than that. He's very charismatic and an excellent negotiator. Celestia, can you pull the <laughs> shallow? This guy is a freaking puddle of water. <laughs> Sombra may have been black hearted demon pony, but he had great taste. Look at. Oops. I stand by my statement. <laughs> Shining Armor, I know you're nervous, but what we signed up for sometimes our responsibilities pull us in different directions. You can do this. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So, my dear friends, did you realize that your throne was broken? Very unsafe. It's fortunate I didn't injure it to myself. Twilight, I'm going to need to borrow that book and probably about five aspirin. I'm going to smack the silly out of this guy. So, and off they fly, leaving Shining Armor and Prince Blue Blood all alone. Only one will survive. Really something spectacular, aren't they? Uh. The princesses, yours especially, really lucked out. What does that supposed to mean? Well, I never would have even talked to an... I never would have talked to an orphan pony, I was looking for princesses. But there you go, fall in love with an orphan and you end up with a princess. I, uh, I will eat you! I'll eat you! <laughs> ah! Where's your luggage? You're gonna freeze to death. Actually, never mind. Don't wear anything more. <laughs> I think I'll do us all a favor. Oh, 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 oh. oh goodness, you're serious. Princes of Cantalot don't carry their own luggage. That's what servants are for. Come along, servants! I have a feeling that you would solve all your problems with servants. You probably have a servant launcher, don't you? Pick your prize a party cannon, you have a servant cannon. You need something done, you just launch a servant, don't you? You, you can tell that's exactly what he's saying. Look at those eyes. Prince Blue... Uh, right now, uh, Shining Armor has the eyes we all have at that point. <laughs> Moving right along here. Are you, are you going to wear the uh, heavy coat too? Of course not. That's for... Uh... I... Pal palanquin? That's what the palanquin is for. Uh, you give me, uh, you give me angry angers. I want to hurt you, but I, I also want to, I don't know, just, like... I want to do things to you, but not nice things. And okay, I have a so, word that I need to look up there because I have no idea what that means. I think it's like something like a, a hand carry chariot or something like that. So now we get into a narrator voice. So, 
The road to the kingdom of the Yaks is not a gentle one. The snow is hard and never stops falling. My heavy coat can barely keep me warm, and my snow horseshoes are the only thing keeping me from sneaking in the from sinking in the snow. Yet, I push on. The wind is cold, so cold. Okay, I'm gonna actually get it rough here. It cuts through your bones. The cold puts a saddle uh, puts a saddle on you and rides you every moment. It's no wonder the yaks can be so harsh. They fight this cold every day. I pressed the wrong button again. <laughs> Dang it. It won't scroll down. The cold. The cold is freezing. Uh, yeah, Adobe Reader. There it goes. But still, I push on. For Cadence. For the Crystal Empire. For Equestria. Slow down a little up here, gents. That's good, right there. Excellent job. Instead of a bitch, you even ruined my monologue. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shine, there you are. Goodness, you look cold. No, really? Did, could you tell by the icicles on my nose? Maybe it's because my boogers are literally three foot daggers coming from my, coming down to my mouth. I look like a freaking walrus with, with freaking green teeth. I am cold. Well, yes. <laughs> well, come on then, friend. Hop on board. I've got a roaring fire going in here. Really? You're gonna set your carrots on fire? <laughs> I don't ride on other ponies' backs. Oh no, you see, the palanquin. I love that word, don't you? It distributes <laughs> the weight out. It's not very heavy at all. Is it, fellows? No, sir. Not for the 50,000 bits that you pay us for hazard pay. <laughs> Some of us will raise that way. And more's the pity. But you... Ah. Tongue work. But you have it now. Why not enjoy it? I can do it on my own. Of course you can. I learned to walk as a fool too. But there's no shame in enjoying what you have now. Anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. This book you gave me is absolutely fascinating. Really interesting stuff. Oh my god, you mean you can actually read? I thought you had your servants read for you. <laughs> Glad you're having a good read during our hazardous trek. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have your servants reading for you. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Shiny, I'm really starting to get a... T tense... Tense feeling off this conversation. We're practically the only princes in Equestria. We should be friends! No, you think? You need to get serious. These acts are notoriously ill-tempered. They freaking rampage just because the uh, cookie, the chocolate chip cookie factory did not have a hundred chocolate chips in their cookie. It took a lot of work to get a relationship this far, and now I suddenly want a cookie. But please don't call me Shiny. I don't need a nickname from you. That's fine. I see how it is. Well. You'll just have to be devastated on your own when someone finally tells you how ridiculously, how ridiculous your tiny glasses are. These are Igax. Even more reason. You should never wear something out you can't say without spitting all over another pony. Let's go, gents. I hope this thing's for it's over. I'll eat him. I'll eat him. And so the trek continues on. And of course, Shining Armor doesn't believe in Prince Bluebud at all. Big surprise. We don't believe in him either. So he go he is going to he decides to himself. And my headset just decided to reset itself for a second there. Luckily no I'm done. Now Yak Yakistan. The Yak Kingdom Excellent. We have a welcoming committee. Great to meet you, gents. Prince Blueblood and... Ah, here he comes now. Hello. Uh, 
Sorry, I'm at a bit. It's really far out here. Far out uh, where? A good point. Sorry, I, I didn't think about that for a second. Okay. Far out. No. Far out where? What the prince means to say is that you all have a lovely secluded home up here on the mountain. Why, I bet you can see forever from up here on a clear day, eh? Must be lovely. Yaks have... Yaks no have clear days. Well, we never get snow in Cantalot, so maybe we could trade a few days each year, eh? Now, these stallions are my personal friends and our entourage. While we go to see Prince Rutherford, would you mind showing them to the best quarters Yak Yakstan has to offer? You have Yak's word. Today's word is bingo. <laughs> <laughs> The prince will be glad to hear it. Let's go, Prince Shining Armor. Prince Willibald, please stop the moment. By all means, though I remind you that the prince is waiting on us. That's actually what I want to talk to you about. I think if you can let me go, I think I'm going to get talking to the prince. Oh? I thought that was why I came along, though. It is, but I'm afraid you're, uh, you suck. You suck as a person, I'm afraid you're gonna piss him off. Well, you suck as a pony, which is even worse. I see. Well, I wouldn't want to set us off on the wrong hoof. I mean, if you think I'd been a burden to you... Well, the, uh, the, 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 but they're plain and hard-working folk. Maybe you could take advantage of their uh, mineral baths? Well... If you have it well in hoof, I'll be sure to enjoy myself while you do the heavy lifting. Great, no, you go, go away, go, go now, before I eat you. Uh, and you've read the thing about the stomping and dick hungry tribe, right? I did. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Tell them that your tribe uh, fat ass. Everything will be okay. I am turning on of the tribe of Nightlight. Clickety clack. Clickety clack. Don't talk back. Oh wow, that hurry. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even think about that joke. <laughs> Pony, what you do traditional yak greeting? Yes, sir. Uh... And slowly I scroll it down, very, very slowly. Adobe Reader, I hate you. I hate you, Adobe Reader. I hate you. Yaks, no, not no ponies have tribes. All ponies have tribes. Uh, no, not like is my father's name. And I thought, you think it funny to come to Yak Yakistan and mock Yak culture. No, no, that's not it. Don't make me eat you. My liege, I have Prince Blueblood. My apologies. Prince Shining Armor meant only to show his respect for your culture. Yeah, yeah, what he said. Mocking is a strange way to show respect. Pony's ways are strange. May have more ruling to do. We join you for a talk on of trading when you're done. You go rest from long journey jerks. Thank you, Prince Rutherford. We look forward to it. Let's go, Shining Armor. But, but I, I wouldn't explain. I, I wasn't mocking. Don't make me drag you out. Uh, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, well, that, didn't go, that, that was terrible. Didn't go well, yep. did it? Nope. I have to do better when they come back. I have to show them the awesomeness, my attitude, my incredible charisma, and my incredible speaking voice. <laughs> <coughs> uh, Bad idea. No, no, wait, wait, I can show maybe, maybe traditional yakangs? 
Didn't your sister try that when they came to Ponyville? Have you been spanking my sister? Wait, no, you're right. You're right. This is terrible. This is going to be terrible. What am I doing? Uh, I'm going to eat myself. Look, if you want my help, all you have to do is ask. No, I have to do it. I'm a prince. I'm the prince of all Ponyanes. I wish I was the prince of the Saiyans. It'd be easier. But I am an experienced diplomat. But I... I'm shining armor. Oh no, the heel. Just say the word. No, I got, got, got just a giant massage or something. That's not a thing. I've got this. And of course, shining armor proceeds to try to impress them and show respect, and they end up completely destroying uh, his helmet, his food. Of course, uh, Shining Armor doing everything that he was told previously did not work when Twilight tried to do it. So obviously, he can't learn for he can't learn from people's past experiences worth a damn. And of course, he even tries to uh, he tries to play one of the sports. And uh, I either he did a good job or they just don't want him to even try to win at Yak Sports. So, yeah, he's apparently really, really pissing off the yaks. To the point where they come to the contract times. And even the contract is destroyed because yaks do not like it. And, twi and finally, Shining Armor retreats into the hotel room. Or their vacant room. Their luxury room. He retreats. Let's face it. <sighs> that bad, was it? They've sequestered your apartment. They want to wage a war with you. And they said something about um, being the next pretty daddy. I don't know what that is. But he, everything I tried, they smashed it. Oh dear. Yakimina, darling, we're going to have to cut this hoof and cure a bit short. Here's a few extra bits for your time. Aw, oh, but Bluebird, Yakimina can't. I won't hear it. Get those little grand yaks of yours something nice, okay? Thank you. Your money means nothing to us, but the thought counts. Now, how bad is it? What kind of mudslide am I digging this out of? Well, they 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 broke my heart to start, and uh, we've uh, we we've, they've declared war on us three times. I've, I had to promise my wife over to them on Saturdays. I wouldn't say why. It's pretty bad. But yeah, he, he really screwed up. Okay, so right now, where are we with the trade negotiations? We're giving about a hundred pounds of crystal corn, just so they don't declare war on us. You poor fool. You get some rest and I'll get to work. And behold, now we get to Prince Blue Blood's Die the Diplomacy. Of this would be the time that I would play a snazzy little snog in the background if I had one prepared, but I don't. So we'll It's foolproof! Da 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 close enough. So <laughs> Prince Blue Blood's Die Guide the Diplomacy. Step number one. Get to know their friends. Winning over diplomats uh, Winning over diplomats, friends, means they're hearing good things about you. When you are not around. I think he told me you love party cannons. How about your own mini party cannons? Good. Step number two. Bring food. But don't bring their food. And don't claim it's the best. Make something they'll be curious about. Griffin scones. I ordered these all the way from Griffin Kingdom. Only ones in Yak Yakistan. This food terrible. Ha ha ha. Well, what do you expect? The half bird. When was the last time you ate something a bird baked? Just now, you. Just now. Not why. If they ate them, nobody has to be insulted. You can bond over how terrible they are. Step <laughs> number three. Remember every pony's name all the time. It shows ponies that you care, even if you don't. 
Yakimina, I was just telling Prince Rutherford, Yakatar and Leroy here, what an excellent spa service you run. Just the best. Prince Blue Blood is so kind. Not at all. Rutherford, you need to relax more. You should go see her. And thus we have learned how to do the plopatic. Now let's take these lessons that we have learned and see how they've applied to the comic. I should go check on him before he's been gone around. He could possibly think to mess up any worse. I mean, what, 200 pounds of corn? My wife on weekend, weekends and alternating weekdays now? Oh no! I fell asleep! I'll eat you, sleep! I'll eat you! I better go find him! Yuck, smash! See, there's your problem. All you ever do is smash! Oh no, we're doomed. And now it's only at this point I realized that what I should have done with the yak voice. Well, I'll still try it anyway. <laughs> no, really, and I had a perfect one. And that's why your hooves are such a mess. You'll get splinters and muck in there. Nobody likes that. Blue blood right. Rutherford need time to take more time to himself. And always wait until you have them somewhere they can't move or smash to talk business. Well then, the sooner we get this trade deal worked out, the sooner Rutherford can start enjoying himself, yes? Brother fight like blue blood. What blue blood propose? Well, I think the idea of some crystal corn as a gift is fantastic, and one that can uh, that obviously like Yakutan would want to repay in kind. Then everyone would know how generous you are. Of course, Yak's very generous. As long as it as long as we get something in return. Oh. Uh. Now I've heard rumors that. Your oh crap! South... Crap! Crap! Hold on. <laughs> I lost the page. Not again. Why? Why do you hate me, uh, Adobe Reader? Slowly Don't... scrolling down. Really, this thing is really slowing down. Okay, continue. Uh, now I've heard rumors that your sour potatoes are second to none. Most ponies have never even tried sour potatoes. That's a terrible shame. We'll make huge gift of sour potatoes to the ponies. Yes. And thus, Shelly and, and thus I go to sleep, comforting in the know that Prince Blue Blood couldn't possibly screw it up any worse than I have. My work is flawless. Oh god, that line. <laughs> wakey wakey, figs and cakey! What, what's wrong with you? I'm gonna eat you for breakfast. Uh, right, but right now there's a breakfast of figs and cake waiting for us. Dear Princess Celestia, figs and cake. That's what I had to wake up at 3 in the morning for. What the hell? But anyway, my sister used to tell me that she no knew what's in the middle of the... Mm, hold on. Monologuing voice. Mm -mm -mm. My princess used to tell me that she never knew what was in the middle of one of your lessons. Now I know what she was talking about. When he sent blue blood with me, I thought he'd be useless. I thought he seemed conceited and self-absorbed. I thought I would eat him in a day. <laughs> Prince blue blood. Prince blue blood. Prince blue blood. <laughs> Prince blue blood. Be sure to visit come visit us again soon while I work on trying to come up with a standard voice for us. Of course I will. And you remember to smash a little less, eh? Yakimina put a lot of work into those hooves. Ho, oh, ho, oh, ho, oh, ho, oh, ho. Oh. Merry Yaksmas. <laughs> and he was. What he didn't realize is that every pony has different skills. And while I've always been a hard worker, Blue Blood has always spent his whole life as a prince. You're not writing this time. Afraid I can't, Shiny. My palanquin is full of yak gifts from most... Most of them for your wife. I married her. She's mine now. Get away from her. I'll eat you. I was shaking hands of the hard work. Oh, it's all downhill from this time. Unfortunately, I have to agree. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. <laughs> 
And while you may not know every, see every I every, why you may not see eye to eye with every pony. Uh, could you teach me how to be an ambassador? Are you sure you can handle the hard work? I need you. <laughs> you can learn something from every pony you meet. The end. And so there is issue twenty six of Friends Forever. <laughs> Uh, so with um, Shining Armor and Prince Blue Blood, and I, I'm gonna say right off the bat, I did I did like the fact that they actually came up with some with an actual guide to diplomacy with that some actual tried tried and tested things that people actually do in order to convey diplomatic relations and um, be able to um, kind of connect with people from different cultures and different places. But seriously, uh, that, 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 the, the storyline itself was pretty good. It did give Shining Armor a chance to kind of redeem himself, but at the same time, he's still kind of a massive dick. Well, kind of. But in any case, uh, I, I'll, I'd like to get, I'll give my thoughts a little bit more, but let's go ahead and uh, jump everybody else into this a little bit. Um, uh, CMC, since you read along with me, uh, what are your thoughts on this? I'm trying to figure out how... Did Blue Blood get the book that Shining had earlier? Did it end up in the Palanquin, or I think uh, I think it either ended up in the Palanquin or Shining Armor grabbed the book in order to give it to Blue Blood. Guess well, he actually, figu guess he figured if we he... see Shining carry his own little case, so I would think it would be in there. Hmm. I don't know. I, I think he got. I think he just grabbed the book from uh, Twilight in order to actually give it to Shining, just to make sure that there was that they actually had the book. Anyway, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get a uh, hmm. trying to get a cover image of Friends Forever here for. Hmm. Anyway, um, but, but yeah. Other than the uh, <laughs> question about what, how in the book got, how in the book it got there. <laughs> uh, uh, what else did you think about the story? It shows that there's a little bit more to Blue Blood than just his overly posh, oh no, there's frosting on my tie. And just been groomed. <laughs> All right, we'll go. We'll just drag this image over here for the moment, and there we go. All right. So uh, and it shows very nicely how to be an ambassador. Oh well, that did not help at all. Okay, let's. There we go. Because that that blue blood's guide to being an ambassador was actually spot on. I know, wasn't it? It's pretty amazing there. But as uh, let's see, anybody else want to jump in on this? Uh, comment, Suki, uh, sketchy. I literally just got back from taking a shower after my workout, so ah. no, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is a single thing. Okay. My favorite, my favorite portion is the video. That's what the video portion. That's when you're gonna get most of the commentary out of me. Video portion. Oh, we do the... oh, I see. Yeah, I get. I got. Yeah. Yes, the video, the the, uh, the episode, and the no, fan I... episode, no, the fan I, stuff. I, I follow. I follow. I, I was just asking uh, if, if if you had any opinions <laughs> on the comic, but all right, so. So I guess it's just uh, me and CMC on it. But yeah, the comic, um, all of it was pretty good. It did have a nice little premise. It, and it did address the fact, why in the world are they going to Yak Yakistan when they already apparently had um, a good a good uh, thing with relations previously. And also, and you know, the, le the lesson actually made sense. It wasn't just one of those um, fly-by-night things. It's actually something that you could actually apply to daily use pretty easily. Especially since you unfortunately do have to be diplomatic with people you know, people you work with, and everything else out there. But and uh, yeah, it did give Shining, uh, it did give Blue Blood a chance to give a little bit of redemption. Even though I don't know if that'll ever it, it'll happen in the show, if he'll ever redeem himself. They, he gave him a little bit more development that he actually knows what he's doing when it comes to diplomacy, which is why he's even a part of the. A, a prince in the first place or even part of the uh, royalty in any way because he knows what in the world he's doing to some extent I'm wondering uh, what did he trade with Pinkie Pie to get those mini party cannons um, I'm guessing he probably a rock pouch 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. But yeah, the the art the art was good. The story... <laughs> topical humor. Topical humor. The art was good. The story was good. The the plot made sense, and even the um, even the moral actually made a uh, perfect sense, and is still usable for anybody and everything. So I, this is why I like the comics. When it, when they are good, they are really good. Now, chat room, uh, if you want to throw out your opinions real fast, I got you on screen here. So go ahead and, um, well, I'd say voice, but more type your opinion real fast and just let people know what you think. <laughs> so, yeah, we do have you on here for a quick brief moment to, to go ahead and give your thoughts. And then we will go ahead and move right on to the episode and uh, um, p pony content. Yeah, that stuff. The stuff we all know and love. Let's see, I think the comics are great. Imp interesting. Well, maybe if Blue Blood was less of an ass, I'd like him. Fair enough. Let's see. Poss uh, let's see. Like the, I like this comic more than I thought I would. Yeah, that, that's always a funny thing. You don't know if you're going to like it or not, especially with a weird mixture of people. <clears throat> the uh, interesting thing of this comic is I learned a new word because it was used in the comic so much. Well, two years. I've seen, I've seen palanquins around in different things, but I've never known the word itself. It's also the word for the uh, snow glasses there they was using. Let's see, they that, do that a lot one, of... That one was... Con I don't even know how you're supposed to say that one. What page is that? Uh, I don't know. It, it was like midway through, uh, right 12. after... 12. Yeah. Igix. Igix. Yeah. Let's see, he did redeem himself a bit in my, in my eyes with establishing trade with Rutherford. Yep. I do agree on the guard part. It's always cool to have some good advice. Some things are so oblivious that we never pay attention. Still remaining important. Mike and I has got a really good one in there. All right, couple couple more moments left if you guys want to type anything in, it, or else we're gonna go ahead and switch right over to commentary, which I really really hope Woo! that I really hope that I got the dimensions working there, okay? And also like the other comic series, yeah. Unfortunately, we're only talking about this issue, but yeah, all the comics, well, not all of them, but a good majority of them are good. And the Fluttershy one gave gave us great laughter because it was so stupid, but that's a whole nother case. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Um. Mm. But yeah, we wouldn't reread it. Um, in some cases, it's hard to reread some comics. Admittedly. Mm. I'll, I'll give it. I'll, I'll, I'd still. Um, I'll probably still reread it once in a while though. But yeah, it's not something I'm gonna immediately run back to. All right. Let's go ahead and move on. <laughs> 